Hello and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I'm here, down on the beach, and uh, as you guys know if you saw the last episode, I've scouted out the base of Duncan, Simon, uh, and, uh, and Xylus. I've got my beautiful Gallimimus here, Mulan. Looks like she needs some berries. She's also pooped on a stick. Oh, oh, no way, it's just hanging out of her bum. Oh my god, now Mulan is a guy. So, sorry about that, dude. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, he's looking at me like, why'd you give me a girl's name? It's fine, it's fine. Okay, so I made the big journey. If we check out our map, made the big journey from the top right corner there over to the top left corner. Turns out you can traverse the map quite quickly on this, one of the fastest dinosaurs in the game. Now it's pretty hot today, so I took off most of my clothes, as you can see. <laughs> including my hat, and oh man, do I need a haircut? And maybe I need to work out my arms a bit and my legs, because I'm very slender at the moment. <laughs> neck day though, I definitely don't skip neck day. So what are we doing? We're going to set up a forward operation base down here on the beach, and I want to make it out of stone. We've got the beach down there, so we've got water, a water source right on our doorstep. I've also bought a bed, and the first thing, the most important thing almost, is to put down a bed so I can fast travel between here and my old base. Although I'm not sure I'm going to want to for a while, because when you do, you lose all your stuff. But we're just going to make uh, make some foundations, get this wood out of the way, because you probably need uh, wood as well. Stone foundations require thatch, wood, and, uh, and a fair bit of stone. Luckily we've got lots of rocks around here, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I might have to up my weight limit as well, because oh, I, mean, I need a lot of stone. So where do we want to build our base? Hmm. Actually, you know, this, this place does look nice and flat enough. So let's just plonk down a foundation here, make it nice and square. And there we go. Now we can just keep getting wood and thatch. I think I'm going to go and, like, just stand by a tree to make more of this stuff. I wonder what happens if I build my base here. You know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to up my weight limit because it's getting to be a bit of a pain. Now, what else can I do? I'm level 37, which is leagues ahead of those guys, but they have the strength of numbers. Oh, look! Chitinous helmet, leggings, and gauntlets. All I need is chitin, fiber, and hide. That sounds like a good set of armor to go for. So it's 23 degrees over here in Viking Bay. It's a beautiful sunny day. Almost too beautiful. Almost too sunny. Now, fingers crossed this is a safe place to build. It seems like it probably will be. Oh, what up? It's a Parasaur as well. We could even tame this guy, just to get some easy an easy pack force. She's level 12, so she should go down quite easily. She's going to be quick now. But not quick enough. Easy. Easy. Is she going to go down? Don't think so. One more to the head. That should knock her out. There we go, she's down. And now let's chuck some berries in there. Every dinosaur loves a bit of mejo. And when she comes around, she should come and find us. Excellent! Okay, and uh, we're going to call him Gaston, because he's not really a princess. This is more of a workhorse, so you are a female Gaston. There you go. No one carries wood like Gaston or thatch like Gaston. No one's as ugly as this guy, Gaston. <laughs> sure. Now, one thing that really does suck is I wish dinosaurs came up as close as they possibly could to you, so you can actually drop things in their pack when you're over-encumbered. But, you know, have to make do, I suppose. Now, so long as uh, I keep my door closed, uh, and I put a lock on it, come on, Gaston, try and keep up, people shouldn't be able to get in. I was able to sneak into Duncan's house because they left the door open, and Simon didn't even see me there, so there you go, there's that. <laughs> Now, I've heard people advise that in Ark, you don't want to build a base sideways, you want to build a base upwards. You shouldn't have big flat, you should have tall. And that doubles up as, like, um, a way for you to scan the horizon. Like, if someone's attacking your base... Whoa, grenades! Oh my... Oh, we could actually make grenades. I've got all of these things that we require. Pulling the pin starts a five-second timer to an explosion. And make sure you've thrown it by then. A pteranodon? Oh my god! If I could tame something that flies... That would be insane. Now, I want to make sure I make a smithy as well. Before I start going crazy making the walls, I need to make a smithy so that I can repair my tools and start collecting metals. We're going to venture just over here. It's a bit dangerous because the more you come off the beach, the more likely you are to run into dangerous animals and dinosaurs. But I feel safe enough. I want to go after some of these big trees for the big wood gains. 
Oh man, I remember how emotional I got when my first Parasaur died, but the truth is now, they're so quick to tame, it doesn't even bother me. I would still be sad though. So this area is going to be big enough for our base, but I want a balcony as well, out front, that looks up towards those guys. So let's start putting that down. It's going to go there. It's going to lean around like this. And I might expand the entrance as well, actually. Give them two doorways to break through. Yeah, that's a good idea. And let's just uh, put a point there. Right, so how many stones do we need to make stone wall? Foundations require almost double what wall does, so we can chew through this really quickly. Let's go grab some stone. Oh yeah, we've got a process now, and it works a treat. Now my axe is super low, so let's get down some bare essentials on this foundation. And that bird's really big. Is it an angry bird? Looks okay. Are you going to be an angry bird? Let me get some arrows. Have I got some arrows? Let me load the real deal in here. Maybe I could shoot them down. Preemptive strike. Okay, let's put down some quick and dirty walls. Now we'll leave some space for some windows. This is going up real quick. This is going up so, so quick. Now, one uh, one block high is a bit small. I think I might make the, the house two, two layers high so I can give my, myself a nice bit of headroom. Okay, let's get the bare essentials down. We're going to put down a bed first. And I think over here in the corner is a nice spot. Perfect. What are the other bare essentials that we can make? Campfire is always useful. And what else are we going to need? A large storage box. A smithy. So we need some stones to make a smithy. Let's get some stone. Is that enough? Yeah, there we go. A smithy. Oh, no, this is, sorry, this is a, um, a furnace. A smithy is next, and a smithy requires just stone as well. Man, I feel like you can just level up so quickly just non-stop crafting smithies and furnaces. It's a good way to power level it up. Bam! Okay, we've got two very important, three very important tools. We'll put the, uh, the furnace over here by the bed. We want the smithy right next to it, though, as well. And the fire we'll put over here. There we go. It's a bit of clipping there, but that's perfect. They're right next to each other. So, I saw in the other guy's base, they have some pretty important things that I don't have. One of those is a preserving bin that should, in theory, keep all my food nice and fresh. Irrigation pipes, a water reservoir... Attach this to pipes to store rain. <laughs> Preserving bin, there we go. We've got all the tools for that. A raptor saddle, that sounds cool. A feeding trough. Put food in it and they'll eat it when they're hungry. Scissors, I could have a haircut, but I don't want that. Obsidian, where do you find obsidian? We want a stone window frame, because that's where we're at. We also want bear traps, because, oh my god, we control those guys something crazy with that. Stone fireplace sounds nice as well. Okay, it's dark. It's getting cold. Let me uh, start a fire, I think. There we go. And on the fifth day, he said, let there be a campfire. Oh, man. A set of tribal war drums to let everyone around hear the power. The power of your tribe. I reckon we should grab one of those. I reckon we need to let these guys know and fear the sound of the prehistoric punk. Now, we want the preserving bin right next to, I think, the campfire. Because, obviously, we're going to cook food there. And then we can store it in the bin. Well, let's, let's get ourselves some meat. Hello, Dodo. I'm sorry, pal, but I'm very hungry. That's the stuff. Let's go make some spark powder and preserve this meat. Put the spark powder in and uh, let's put some cooked meat in there. And see if it changes how long it takes to go bad. Spoil time three hours. Oh, that's amazing. Use spark powder, oil, and cooked meat to make jerky over hours. I don't have any oil, but we could actually go hunting for oil along the coast, since those large fish dinosaurs kind of seem to have a bit. 
But that's it, the end of the first day, and our base is well underway. We've got the stone foundations down, we've learned a few more recipes. Oh, blessed bee, look at that, guys, up there, a green supply beacon, really close. Now, this neck of the woods is a very dangerous neck of the woods, so if I'm going to go out, I should be very careful. I can respawn pretty close, which means I should be able to get my stuff back, but that's up that hill, and up that hill, danger lies. Still, there's also some great rewards up there. Night time is not the time to be doing this, though. Oh, bird! Oh, don't be a dick. Oh, he's stealing berries. It's okay. Ah! Has the supply crate gone already? Ah! Run! Huh? Ah! How long did the dinosaurs chase for? Okay, I think I'm safe. Okay, time to fill up the remaining the remainder of these walls. I've also got two windows. So we're going to have one window, uh, I think, here. And another window. I want to be careful because I think if I, put, if I put it too close to the smithy, they might be able to lean in and steal what's in it. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Then we're going to put a doorway here, which means we've got one too many fences. Now, can I build up? Oh, yes, I can. Sweet. So we can have a decently sized home. Right. So while the uh, while the metal's not cooking, we might as well put the fire out. Don't want to waste that wood. Same for this one here. It's going to kill the lights, but that's okay. 55 narcotics. Oh, this is definitely enough to tame a flying dinosaur. Right. So we want a door frame now. We do want some more walls as well. And also, a wooden door wouldn't go amiss. So, this is where the door frame is going to go. Right here. And we're also going to put one over here. And another one as, like, a second entry point. So, if they break through the first door, they've got to break through the second one. Let's get some more foundations, uh, some doors, and some more walls. Actually, not foundations, just walls and doors. And some windows you should probably get as well. Okay, and that is literally the fourth wall right there. Oh, it's raining. I really need to get a roof set up. Okay, one. Two, three, four. Bam, now we need roofs. So what is the cost on a roof? Stable wooden ceiling that insulates the inside from the outside and doubles as a floor for higher levels. Yeah, we could have a, a nice tall building. So we're just going to put this down for the time being. Okay, let's get a rooftop down. Is that? Oh yeah, no rain here. But then I go here, there's rain. Nice. I wonder if your diet matters. I wonder if you have to have like a certain degree of fiber or like protein in your diet to just survive. Roof. Let me see how much... No, we'll, we'll stick with the wood. We'll stick with the wood wood rooftops. But I will need some more trees. It's so cold. So cold. And actually, let's kill this turtle. I want the chitin that he's got. Now, you can't tell how much damage you're doing. You have to hit them on the skin bits, not the back, because that's heavily armoured. But we don't have damage numbers on the server, which is a bit of a shame. I'm just going to smack you into submission. Now, these things are supposed to attack, but this one's running scared. Got him! All right, let's 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 gather his stuff. Okay, so a level up's available. Let's do that. And uh, we're going to take... Uh, do we want weight? Let's go with health. And let's see what we've unlocked at 42. Greenhouse wall and a greenhouse ceiling. And whatever a chalicotherium is. There's so many dinosaurs I've never seen. We're going to, I think, next episode, take a surveying trip up to see what Duncan's been doing. Also, we're going to try and tame a flying dinosaur. One of the Pteranodons. I think we can do it. We've got the uh, we've got the means. I've got to find out if they're uh, obviously a carnivore or if they like um, they like berries. If they like berries, my job's much easier. But I definitely have the narcotics to keep that sucker asleep. And if I can fly, oh my god, nothing can stop me. Until next time, guys, take care.